This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. Microsoft is going to be ending Windows 10 support on October 14th, 2025. And what this means is if you're currently using Windows 10, you will no longer receive important security updates. If your current PC meets the Windows 11 minimum system requirements, you're going to get pop-ups asking you to upgrade to Windows 11. But also, what Microsoft may do is they may force you to upgrade to Windows 11. There are rumors going around on the internet that they are currently doing this. And I'm going to show you how to protect yourself so this does not happen to you. On a side note, I use Windows 11 on multiple machines and I've never had an issue with it. So do some research, check into Windows 11, and see if it will be a suitable fit for you. But if you want to stay on Windows 10, I'm going to show you how to do that. In a future video, I'm going to show you how you can still receive Windows 10 updates, even though Microsoft is ending support on October 14th, 2025. So please click the subscribe and notification button so you will get a notification when that video is released. In the meantime, this is how you stop your Windows 10 installation from upgrading to Windows 11 or from it nagging you to upgrade to Windows 11. The first thing you want to do is go to your search box, left click, and type Reg Edit. Go ahead and click here or click Open. Go ahead and click Yes. And you want to be very careful while you're in the registry and only change the setting that I'm going to show you because if you change any other settings, you will corrupt your current copy of Windows. What you want to do is you want to go to H key, local machine, left click. You want to go to software. You want to go to policies. You want to go to Microsoft. You want to go to Windows and you wanna to go to Windows Update. And you can grab right here and pull this over so you can see a little bit better. And you wanna to go to Windows Update. What you wanna do is you wanna look for product version. If you don't have product version, you're gonna create it. And I'm gonna show you how to create it. You're going to right click, you're gonna to go to New, and you're gonna to go to String Value. And the string value is gonna be product version. And then you're going to double click it and you're going to type in Windows space 10. If you have a target release version here, go ahead and double click that. If not, you're going to right click. You're going to go to new. You're going to go to D word 32 bit value. And you're going to type target release version. Hit enter. Double click it. And then you're going to put a value of one and you're going to hit OK. If you have a target release version info, you can go ahead and double click it. If not, you're going to create it. You're going to go to new string value target release version info enter. I'm going to go ahead and widen this up a little bit here so we can see it. You're going to double click it. And in this box, you're going to type 22 capital H2. And that's for Windows 10 version 22H2, which will be the last supported version of Windows 10 offered by Microsoft. So basically what this is telling Windows is you want to stay on Windows 10 22H2 and not upgrade you to Windows 11. And hopefully it will also not offer to upgrade you to Windows 11. Once that's done, just go ahead and close the registry and you're all set. And you should be safe from your system upgrading to Windows 11. Once again, this is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. You can reach out to me at my website at beyourownnerd.com. I also have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every Tuesday morning. It's totally free to sign up for. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great tech day.